Hello everyone. Using popular AI models like ChatGPT, Gemini and Perplexity is great. But did you know that you can take them to the next level by training them with your own data? By doing this, you can gain personalized insights and solutions that standard models cannot offer. So let's explore how to maximize the potential of AI. Welcome to Adhub AI. Today we're going to explore how to create your own AI model by training it with your own data. Whether you want to build a custom chatbot, analyze specific feedback, or automate tasks, having a model tailored to your needs can lead to better results. Let's head over to Google AI Studio, okay? Alright, Google AI Studio allows you to uh, quickly try out different models and prompts and making it easy to create and fine-tune your uh, AI projects. If you haven't used it before, you need to sign up and let's click sign in. And here we need to give consent here and we don't have to do the others and hit continue. Here we can ask any question we want. and we get, we get the answer, but we are not here for this. We will be building our own model. In order to train your model, you need to have a data set, right? You can either find data set online or you can create uh, one for yourself, all right? So we'll actually try both uh, today. Now first, uh, I will go to uh, one of the most popular platform where you can find models and data sets, uh, which is Hugging Face, okay? So, so you can simply type here Hugging Face. Actually, I am there, but let me show you Hugging Face and then the, the first link. So in Hugging Face, you can find AI models, data sets uh, and stuff. And here I will go to data sets. There are so many of uh, to choose from. You can pick whatever data set you want, uh, depending on what application you want to do, or you can even search here. I found one data set that I'm going to use today, which is customized cu customer data set. All right. And here, as you see in this data set, we have queries and uh, end responses here, right? So for example, the, the query is, I have a question about my bill. And the answer is, would be happy to help. Can you please provide your account number and brief description of your uh, question? Just like this, all right? So this is the, the, the data set that I want to use. And now we're going to download it. So we can go to files and versions here, all right? And here is the folder uh, where our data set sits. You know, this is the data set we'll be using. So as you see, this is a Parquet file, okay? So actually we need a CSV file to train our data. So what we're going to do is we will download this and then we will uh, convert it to CSV, okay? So let me click on it. And then here uh, we will download it. Click download. Now it's downloaded. Now let's convert our uh, file. I will go to convert parquet to CSV. All right, let's scroll down. I will be using this convert.com. All right, so I will upload my file here. Let's make sure uh, it is converting to CSV, okay? All right, so let's convert. It was very quick here, and let's download it. Now our CSV file is ready. Now that we have our data set in CSV format, and let's go back to Google AI Studio, and we will uh, click New Tune Model. And here we're going to upload our uh, data set go to upload and this is the data set converted version all right okay so we're going to take this use first row as headers and here we need to click new input column it means that these are questions and new output columns and these are the output columns so let's click import 
and here let's give our model a name uh, customer AI model. it can be anything and we'll be using Gemini 1.0 and this is the only model actually available let's click a uh, tune bu tune button and it will start tuning So uh, in a moment, you will see that it started tuning and then it's in progress. I think it will take some time. I don't know, probably maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm going to pause. Yeah, here it says that, you know, it will be ready in 70 minutes. Let's uh, pause the video and we'll continue afterwards. Now that the tuning of our model is complete and let's test it, okay? And I'm going to copy one of the questions from our data set. All right. And let's prompt this question. First, we will, uh, we will prompt it uh, uh, in untrained model, generic uh, Gemini model. And let's see what answer we get. So you see it doesn't understand, it doesn't know data and it asked for further clarification okay it didn't understand but now if i try it with our train model okay ask the same question and you see it understood and it responded as we apologize for the inconvenience and can you please pro provide your order number so we can investigate it you see it's exactly uh, the same response from from our data set I'm going to ask another question, but this time I will change the wording a bit and and if uh, to see if uh, it can still answer. All right. So, for example, the second question is uh, I received a damaged product. OK, this one. And we expect this response. And now I'm going to change the wording a bit. OK. Why is the product damaged? And the response is, we apologize for the inconvenience and can you please provide a photo of the damaged product and your order number so we can in, uh, investigate. And here exactly the same, can you please provide photo of damaged product? As you see, it worked, and this shows that the model can handle variations uh, in wording, order, or style, as long as the question is understandable. For the final method, we will look at creating our own data set. All right, this involves collecting and organizing data that is that is specific uh, to your application. In this particular case, I created uh, a data set. Uh, okay. Uh, for a K-12 school, uh, school's admission. So we have questions here regarding admission uh, enrollment, and here we have the uh, possible answers, okay? For example, what is the application deadline? The, ap the application deadline for our school is typically uh, August 15, and there are so many questions relevant to uh, the school admission. I created this data set using AI. There are many ways you can collect data. You can, uh, you can do a survey, you can do questionnaires and stuff. All right. So now uh, what we can do is uh, in order to train our model, we can either download this as CSV or we can directly uh, import data from uh, Google Sheet. This is Google Sheet, right? Once your dataset is ready, we can upload it to Google AI Studio. Let's go back to Google AI Studio and then new tuned models. And now what I'm going to do is I will click import. And here, as you see, um, uh, instead of uploading, I will just select the Google Sheet. We will do exact same thing as we did before. Use the first row as headers, and then this is input, and this one is output column, and uh, hit import. 
let's give it a name yeah admission admission model admission model all right let's uh, start tuning it will take some time and uh, I will pause the video and come back afterwards now that the training of our uh, admission model is ready and let's test it okay I'm going to copy one of the questions here and ask and the generic one doesn't know anything about it and let's ask the same question to our train model okay okay so as you can see it knows the deadline august 15 exactly the same here and uh, i will ask another question is there an application fee let's copy it and i'm going to ask uh, i will just change it what is the application fee Uh, this is the generic one didn't understand let me copy the same question and uh, paste here the application is, is fee is fifty dollar uh, that's true that's correct um, yeah it provided the exact answer and this shows that our model is not only accurate but also uh, be able to understand the context of the question so the, the ability to accurately respond to variations in question demonst demonstrates the effectiveness of our training process and that's it thank you for joining me today We've covered how to set up Google AI Studio and the importance of training your own AI model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on AI, data science, programming and educational technology. Also, let us know in the comments what topics you would like us to cover next. Your feedback is invaluable to us. See you soon and remember to keep your eyes open for new AI discoveries.